Hey, it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. I am getting ready to go out with my friend Brittany. We're going to go get sushi and then go to a movie. And I thought, well, this is the perfect time to break out these e.l.f. products that I just got. So I went on the e.l.f. website and I originally went on just for these. I was watching Rach Loves and these really helped her with the puffiness under her eyes. And then I ended up with a lot of stuff. So I'm going to do basically a full face of what I call a full face because I don't use foundation. Um, I also have this kit, which I think I'm going to save for a giveaway. But it's got a baked highlighter and blush, a smooth matte eyeshadow, a matte lip color and a palette so yeah probably gonna save that for a giveaway it's a really nice kit so let me show you what I got so got some concealer this is the elf beautifully bare lightweight concealer stick I got it in fair light you guys know I don't wear concealer that often but might as well look in a little bit dark so, it's just a stick. Might as well uh, uh, unbox all this stuff with you guys. There is a blush in tickled pink. It's a really nice color. Let's take the... I heard someone call this a condom the other day. It cracked me up. Not sure about that color. I got this small flawless eyeshadow palette and what it does is it says base lid crease and line so I'm going to try to follow the directions on that see if I can't come up with something nice there's the colors again it's a nice nudie nudie I got a black liquid eyeliner because that's what I've been using. Um, the e.l.f. is new to me. I've been using uh, NYX and Ico. And of course I got a lip color because I'm a lipstickaholic. It's a liquid matte lipstick in the color Wine Tour. Sometimes this light is so bright that it just kind of and then I've been using the It Brow Power, and it's amazing. But I got this e.l.f. one in taupe. Because this one was only like $6, and the Brow Power is like $20. Come on, little boy. Get out your package. There we go. So it's got that on one end and the spoolie on the other. So we're going to start with the brows. Let me... I just kind of... I'm not going very thick anymore. I'm not like painting them on like I was. Just kind of taking the pencil and going through what I have and then extending it a little bit. Because it was starting to look ridiculous. This might even be a little light. I don't know. What do you think? From back here it looks alright. But like super close in the mirror it's like a little off. I'll take this spoolie back through it too. I'm liking this lighter touch on my brows. They were getting out of hand. Yeah, it's a little light because you can definitely tell where my actual brows start. But it's not so bad. 
Oops. There we go. I didn't really use my teeth there. So I'm going to take the concealer stick and I'm just going to go under my eye. My eyes. It seems kind of rough for under your eyes. Like it's kind of sticky. I did not get a powder to set this. I probably should set it. So I'm gonna grab, so I'm gonna grab the original formula Coty Airspun Loose, Airspun Loose Face Powder. And this comes with a little puff, and it's tinted. And just kind of press it in. And we'll go in and wipe some of the excess off in a few. The only thing I don't like about this is every time I open it, it's like all over. Alright. Let's... I should have done the eyes first. That's alright. Okay, so. We're going to take this top color. That's the base. And it says, apply base all over the eyelid, up to the brow bone, sweep, oh, next. So all over the eyelid, up to the brow bone. And I'm using the applicator that it came with, which is one of those spongy ones. The thing is, if I'm going out with Brittany tonight, she doesn't care what my makeup looks like. <laughs> I could look silly as heck and she wouldn't care. <sighs> Alright. Sweep the lid shade over the eyelid. Okay. Lid shade. Apply crease color in the crease of your eye where the lid meets the brow bone. So that's this, it's a shimmer. So that's right in here. This is pretty powdery. There's a lot of not necessarily fall out, but this looks terrible. <sighs> Finish by adding line color around the lash line and outer corners of the eye. Blend in edges. So it wants me to line my eye. That looks terrible. This is not the right applicator for this, I don't think. I think a, a little brush would have been better. Because look at this. Okay. First we're going to get rid of all this excess powder. I hate it. I feel like that accentuates all the wrinkles under my eyes. <sighs> and we're going to get a blending brush. This is a Wet n Wild dollar store brush that I freaking love. Um, Blaze. It's, I think her channel is It's Blaze. I'll try to link her down below if I remember. She is in love with these brushes just as much as I am. 
Okay, so after blending, it's not so bad still. I hate this under eye. Okay. We're going to keep going. But I'm probably taking some of this off. We're going to take the blush. I didn't get bronzer or anything. Actually, the blush is a nice color. I don't wear blush too much. I think I have natural color to my face. So, it's not bad. Alright, let's do the eyeliner. Okay. Maybe we can save it with the eyeliner. Someone was upset with me for holding my eyelashes down while I do this. That's what works best for me. I can't keep my eye... I can't just hold my eye closed, like... That doesn't work for me, so... This is what works. not even. There we go. That's not terrible. Let's get some mascara on here. I didn't buy any mascara either. So I'm just going to use this Sephora Lash Craft again. I'm trying to use up this sample before it goes bad. Thing I don't like about this mascara is it takes a while to dry. Alright, let's get the lip color on and then we'll assess the damage. Oh, it's clear. The applicator stick is clear. goes on very smooth like a gloss. And the colors are really pretty. What do we think? I don't hate it. Oh, a big clump. I don't like the concealer. Um, it's, I feel like it accentuates the wrinkles under my eyes. So obviously I don't like that part of it. Um, the brow is too light for me. It needs to be just a tad darker, probably like a shade or two darker. I do like the lipstick. Oh wow, that dried so fast. There's just a little bit of transfer. Um, the liquid liner went on really smooth and nice. I did like that. Um, the blush is cute. It's a really nice color. I think this palette would be fine if I used a brush. Uh, it's a very subtle look. It's not too, like, over the top or bright. It's 
So I've never had problems with lipstick bleeding, like going out. I got some of my teeth too. But this seems to be like going outside my lip line already. So that's kind of a negative. Oh, um, I've had some comments about the redness under my nose, like am I sick? I wear a CPAP machine, and so it, it rests right there, so that's always red. Can't do anything about it. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, some of these are disappointing. I like the blush, although it's very, again, it's very powdery, like, <sighs> there's a lot of fallout type. Uh, same with the eyeshadow. I like the lipstick. We'll see how it wears, though. It, like I said, it seems to be bleeding. And that's really strange for my... For me. I like this. I like the liquid liner. It worked really well. I wanted to like the concealer. But, yeah, it just along with the powder just rests in all of those wrinkles under my eyes I feel like it's just it's not okay so we've done a full face of elf new makeup let's fix what we don't like see what I mean about just a couple shades darker it looks so much better All right. Um, the eyes I think are okay. I'm actually going to take this Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips. Um, what's the color on this one? Cole Kajal Warm Nude. Right? No, that one says Warm Nude too. Apparently these don't have their own their own identities. There's a black one and then this lighter one and this darker one. I'm going to take this darker one and go under my eyes. Oi! Oi! Dropping stuff! Just a little bit. Just to kind of add a little bit of flair under there. I got these from one of you guys. <clears throat> Mascara is good. Let's do some highlight. Do, 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 do. Since we're trying new stuff, let's try the model's own Sculpt and Glow in the color Luster. Just gonna take it on my fingers. Um, I've never used a cream highlight before. I wasn't in a stick, so... There we go. That's nice. That's got a really nice glow to it. Okay. What do we think about this lipstick still? I kind of want to redo a little bit of it. There we go. Let me fix it. Uh, 
Okay. There. I think it looks good. So there's a get ready with me full face-ish of new makeup to me. And this is like a girl's night out look. So I'm digging it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So, <laughs> jeez, subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.